In 1972, in Xinjiang, China, a strange photo was taken from a high altitude of 900 kilometers in the United States. It was a big ear, about 60 kilometers long and about 30 kilometers wide. People don't know what it is or how it was formed. They can only call it the ear of the earth. Today, the air of the earth and the area of more than 100,000 square kilometers around it are actually a common name. Robopo yes. Robopo, a desolate area of death. A seemingly unnoticeable area of life. A desolate landscape that has once exploded with atomic bombs. However, Robopo has never lacked visitors for thousands of years. Many ancient civilizations have died here. Many explorers and scientists have entered here and even sacrificed their lives. What is the charm of Robopo? In the next video, we will try to answer this question. But we found that many clues at the beginning pointed to the same name, Laolan. In 176 BC, the name Laolan first appeared in history. It was a letter from the leader of the Huns to Emperor Hanwen. The letter states that 36 Western countries, including Laolan, have been subjugated to the Huns. What kind of country is Laolan and where is it in the West? It was not until five zero years after receiving the letter from Shanayu that Jiang Qian, who controlled the West, brought back more information about Laolan. There is a pot, zero salt, and salt is called a radish pot. Laolan is an ancient Western country, with a river area of nearly 200,000 square kilometers at its largest. It is equivalent to the area of two Zhejiang provinces today. However, most of these lands are deserts, and only a few rivers and streams are flooded. People live by the river to raise cattle and sheep, and use the land to raise money to build houses with foxes, cows, and rabbits. They wear colorful wool clothes and like delicate silk. It is a luxury that the merchant team occasionally brings back from far away Han. Although Laolan is not fertile, it can still stir the most sensitive nerves of the Han Empire. Because the Silk Road intersects the east and the south, the two eastern sections of the north and the south intersect here. Laolan has become a must-go place in the far west. When Laolan was subjugated to the Huns, it blocked the road to the west of the Han Dynasty. After decades of this, the Han Dynasty carried out a series of actions against Laolan, the most famous of which was assassination. In 77 BC, the Han Dynasty's historian Fujizi went to Laolan with great effort. He successfully assassinated King Laolan at a banquet. It reduced the Western resistance of the Han Dynasty and the killing of the Western regions. In the end, with the efforts of generations, the Han Dynasty brought the Western regions into the map and completely opened the passage to the West. In the Tang Dynasty, Laolan and Fujizi became legends. They are called Zhan Laolan, which is a legend in the poem. It is a patriotic good deed to kill people. However, Laolan has disappeared for a long time. In 644, when Zhuanzang was about to return, what he saw was only the dust of the city and the smoke of the people. Later, people even forgot about the location of Laolan. Until 1900, more than a thousand years later, the Swedish explorer Sven Hedin came to Robopo to investigate. A group of people were furious with the killing, but they accidentally discovered a large temple buried in the sand. In the history of the temple, the history of the temple has been in the past, and the history of the temple has been in the past, but the mystery and controversy also come to him. Why did the ancient city of Laolan become a ruin? Where did the people of Laolan go? After that, people came to this desert to find the answer, but they accidentally opened another civilization. From 1927 to 1935, the North American Joint Examiners, which was formed by China and Sweden, investigated Laolan. When the investigation was about to end, scientists found a huge tomb with a thousand coffins in the local legend under the guidance of the guide. The tomb was located next to a nameless river, and was called the Little River Tomb. But until 70 years later, in 2004, its full appearance was really revealed. It was built on a 7.7 meter high elliptical sand hill. The sand hill is about 3 to 5 meters high, and the huge tomb is in the middle. More than 100 tombs are divided into 5 layers, and the tomb is made of tiger and sheep. There are only two sides and a cover, like a bottomless poisonous wood. 
There are also different types of targets before the tomb. The male coffin is now the target is the horn, symbolizing the female. The female coffin is now the main body, symbolizing the male. It reflects the mysterious and primitive worship of the body. When people look at the coffin, the scene is even more surprising. The extremely dry weather in the desert makes the bodies of the buried quickly dehydrated. In addition to certain preventive measures, many of the bodies in the tomb are still in the state of burial. One of the young women's face is full of outline, and her eyelashes are clearly visible. It seems to be in pure sleep. Her clothes show a sense of fashion that has not passed a thousand years. She wears a woolen hat, a short waistcoat, a short waist and a boot, and a straw hat. This scene makes people who see her call her Little River Princess. Is Little River Princess the Laulan people recorded in the history books? People found that these humans with the skin of a camel and yellow hair are very different from the appearance of the Central Plains people. They belong to the Europeans. And after the determination, they appeared here more than 2000 years earlier than Laulan. I don't know why. They moved from afar to the west of China and settled here 4000 years ago and 3,500 years ago. I don't know why their story disappeared in the desert. In addition, scholars also found that the first time was about 130,000 years ago. There was already a human family in the Ruobo River. There were also some villages in the Yuan Ming period, but in the end they all disappeared. Why can't all the civilization of the Ruobo River escape the fate of extinction? To find the clue to this mystery, we need to come to a bigger perspective. The cave where the Ruobo River flows out of the Terim Basin is surrounded by the mountains of Xi'anshan and Kunlun. The water is separated by mountains, and the annual water level is only 10 to 20 millimeters. The evaporation volume is more than 3,000 millimeters, causing a large area of desert. In addition, the sudden rain and the northeastern wind blow into the surface, causing the soil on the surface to crack along the wind direction, as if a thousand. Arrows strike. The dragon is killed. The ancient people called it the white dragon pile. This is the Yadan landform on the geometry. In addition, there are also the rocks of tens of thousands of square kilometers, so sharp that they can cut through the tires of cars. But the former Ruobo River is not like this. This is the lowest point of the Terim Basin. The river that originates from the surrounding mountains is gathered here to form a super large lake. In the Xi'anshan period, there were tens of thousands of square kilometers. It is today's largest lake in China, twice the size of the Qinghai Lake. It shows that the west is the sea of the Yangtze River, and Sima Qian actually called it the Yadan Lake. The Yadan Lake is a big river. How did this big lake disappear? Did it affect the civilization around it? For more than 100 years, a group of scientists have come here and made various guesses. They found that the most famous big ear of the Ruobo River is located in the ancient lake basin area. The round and circular earlobes are actually different shapes of the eye. It is also the Huan County where the Ruobo River dried up at different times. Some scientists guess that the water level of the Ruobo River depends on the upstream river water due to the lack of groundwater. Therefore, when the climate becomes dry and the upstream river water reduces, the Water surface of the Ruobo River will shrink and even dry up. In addition, humans cut down a lot of plants, built houses and offices, and made the environment where the old and the weak were in a bad state. Human civilization was also forced to leave or die. After the climate becomes humid, the lake will reflow and revive. So another group of humans came here to settle down and build civilization. The last time the Ruobo River revived was in 1921. Because the upstream river was blocked, the Terimu River and the Konkwa River changed to the north and entered the Ruobo River. In the 50s and 60s of the 20th century, the large-scale construction of Terimu Basin caused the flood of many rivers in the Ruobo River to flow. In 1965, the once vast Ruobo River completely dried up. Here we have seen the most likely truth of the Ruobo River, the Laulan River and the Small River. 10,000 years ago, the vast lakeside of the Bibo River became the home of early humans. 5,000 years ago, the salt brought by the river water continued to accumulate, and the Ruobo River became a semi-salt lake. The ancestors and families of the princess of the small river settled here. 
2,000 years ago, another group of Europeans who had migrated here built their own country, Laolan. However, is this already the secret of the Ruobo River? The answer is no. The Ruobo River is large in area. The climate is complex and variable. The terrain is unstable and the direction is different. In 1980, the famous scholar Peng Jiamu disappeared when he entered the Ruobo River. Sixteen years later, the explorer Wai Yu Chunshan was killed in the expedition. Even today in the 21st century, it is still dangerous to enter the Ruobo River. For such a large area, we know very few people. He has too many unexpected things. In 1876, people found wild double-winded mules here. This is a type of mammal that is most successful in adapting to the desert environment. The number is even smaller than the wild pandas. There are only about 750 wind in the world, and the Ruobo River accounts for more than three-fifths. In 1995, people also found large fake salt mines here. Today, the Ruobo River is already a world-class fake production base. People continue to provide energy to support China's agriculture. From the past to the present, there are still too many unanswered questions about the Ruobo River. For example, where did the earliest people from the Ruobo River come from thousands of years ago? Are there any other unanswered questions? Where did the former Silk Road, the Rowland Road, end up? We don't know, but at least we can answer the question at the beginning. What is the charm of the Ruobo River? Its charm comes from the wilderness itself. This land seems desolate, but it is full of mysterious unknown. Rowlan is deep in silk, and it is dead in silk. The small river is in silk, and it is dead in silk. The former super lake is in silk, and it is dead in silk. Countless life and death are all there. Once the expedition team and the science team entered the Ruobo River, perhaps it was because no one could refuse a wilderness that worshipped the unknown.